So here we are over at Caesars Creek State Park in, uh, in Ohio, Southern Ohio. And today we're going to be looking along this wall um, for all kinds of fossils. And that wall stretches across the highway all the way down that way. So it goes for hundreds and hundreds of feet. Um, and there are fossils all over uh, to be found in here. You're not supposed to be climbing up the wall. Uh, right now we're just doing some surface searching. You need to have a permit uh, to dig here or to uh, um, get to, to collect some items from here. But yeah, so let's have some fun, see what we can find. Today we're going to be looking at Caesars Creek State Park, located in southern Ohio, just between Cincinnati and Columbus. We're going to be looking for horn coral and other fossils. But today, where we're going to go is the Caesars Creek Emergency Spillway area. You will see that there is parking on this side and this side of the, uh, of the road. And you can walk up and down uh, this whole wall area right here. It is... It goes about 15 to 20 feet high, uh, depending. Uh, there's about a four to six foot drop, and then it just goes at an incline down. And then there will be all kinds of rocks just uh, that have broken free and have fallen all along the base of this wall right here. What I'm going to do now is just walk along the uh, um, the bottom area here and uh, just do a little bit of surface searching, uh, see what we can find. So basically, um, with weather and everything like that, as things uh, break apart and fall down off the top of the wall, uh, they'll just come down here, they'll tumble down, and as they tumble down, um, bits and pieces and stuff will break off, and you'll have a lot of smaller and even larger pieces. Um, but look at that, it's pretty dirty, but it's got a little bit of everything in it. Alright, so we're going to do a little zoom up of a few of the pieces here along the wall. Um, just every little uh, piece is basically it's something. You've got fossils all around um, in all of the rock. You see multiple shells, uh, more horn coral. Um, basically all of these rocks that are that have fallen off the wall and eventually are all eroding away and just keep falling down. Uh, they are just loaded with uh, fossil after fossil after fossil. Even uh, down in here, you will see just like little chips, like that's, that's a piece of a fossil right there. Um, they are all over. So if you pull back for a minute, all of these broken uh, pieces of rock, you're not supposed to be climbing uh, up there or anything like that. Uh, but down along the bottom, I'm right here at the base of the uh, incline and just kind of looking over. But you have all these fallen pieces um, both both directions. Um, you can surface search all you want. But yeah, so they're all loaded with all kinds of stuff. And looks like somebody's doing something out there piece that had that, uh, um, that rock on, or this uh, fossil on it right here um, that was underneath this rock, I just pulled it out and as I slid it out there came out a little horn uh, coral out from under it. So this is my first time. Oh, what's this? There's another little horn coral.
this uh, bedrock that it's in, it's kind of really chalky uh, when it dries. That looks like it might be a piece of a horn coral also, right in there. should probably really use some gloves. Let me set those two up there. See, you got all kinds of just broken pieces just laying around everywhere, and I'm on just I'm just on one little teensy weensy spot uh, because there are um, this wall goes for a thousand feet that direction, and another couple hundred feet behind me. So there's just spot after spot of wait a minute, what's this? Fossil after fossil. That's something that's broken. Really, really neat. Okay, so I was just right there underneath that rock, uh, pulling out a few things, and I just came down just a few more feet. And this rock was sitting on top of here. It's got a piece of horn coral in it. And other fossils. Nothing really on the back. Kind of looks like a hagstone with a hole in it. But yeah, all of these. Um, check out that shell. <clears throat> oh, here's a uh, here's a teeny tiny little horn coral. How cool is that? That's pretty neat. Leave that there. Oh. Look at that shell. Set that there. Another little piece of horn coral. Put that there. They are all over. Check out this little shell. Right here, uh, we started cleaning off this rock. My son noticed uh, that horn coral right there. And then, Right next to it, there are a lot of uh, shells and stuff, but this right here coming down is another large horn coral that's buried down in the rock. Now this rock is huge. It's buried down in the mud. There's no way to separate it. Um, anyhow, this is just to kind of to show that they're all over in here. Look at this plate. Look at all the shells on it. So yeah, if you're into if you're into collecting fossils, um, Caesar's Creek, Ohio, um, it's beautiful. Nice big long wall. So I moved down just a few more feet. Started scraping away at a few of these rocks. And I noticed got more horn coral here and over here, along with all kinds of shells. Lots and lots of pieces. They're all over.
So I was walking along, just kind of had my nose down, uh, looking at everything, and I found these uh, shells. Then I looked to the left, and I saw this big one. Man, how cool is that? Then there's another evidence of something right there. I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to leave all of them, actually. It's got some shells on it. Oh! How could I not see that? Good places to look um, are where there are natural walls, um, where things come tumbling down. And then they stop and they have like a trough of items that have collected there. Then it just spills out, comes down here, and goes on down uh, the rest of the hill. Um, nothing really behind it because this rock has uh, stopped everything uh, from larger rocks to falling down and smaller stuff as well. So I'm willing to bet that there's a lot of stuff that have collected down there in that little, uh, that little trench area. So we got plenty of horn coral, um, more horn coral, horn coral, more horn coral. Check out this piece. It goes like that. So I just moved a rock. And before I started messing with anything, look what was underneath it. Oh. Really nice. Check out that tip. Beautiful piece. Yeah, just look at this. Little horn coral there. All kinds of coral. Check that out. Little bird beak. So I just set down that uh, bird beak, and as I look down, check out that fossil embedded in the rock. Sitting under a rock, a little water pool. Really cold. I think yeah. it likes the heat coming from my hand. So I've got a really large rock here. Such a beautiful piece of a horn coral. Look at that. Big as my finger. Got a good tip on it. And I look over here to the right. Another really large rock. And you will see, well, there's a lot of dirt on it, but you got horn coral here. Throughout over here, more here and here, coming down. This is a lot of, um, all this right here is a lot of dirt. See, it's just loose dirt on top of it. But as you come down, you will see, man, there's one coral here, over here. Basically all over. Look at that piece right there. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so we came over here to the other side of the highway. Just check it out. Um, so we were, oh goodness, uh, way over there above where my finger is, and now we're about oh 
maybe about a quarter of the way from the highway, uh, heading to the wall this way, just to look around. Um, they require you to have a permit. Uh, the clo offices are closed until April, uh, and it's March 23rd. Um, they gave you a number to call the ranger uh, to get a free permit. I called the number, um, left a message, and it's been about two hours. I haven't heard anything yet. Uh, so all we've been doing is just surface searching. We just need to get the go-ahead um, to say, hey, it's okay to uh, take home a couple of points uh, for souvenirs. But since we can't uh, get that, uh, we decided just to do a little bit of surface searching, uh, see what we could find, and then um, let you know how wonderful it is here at Caesars Creek State Park uh, to collect some fossils. Also something to consider is, um, you see it's a big open field uh, behind me. Um, which means a big sky, which means lots of sunshine. So uh, it's only March. I'm already sweating. Um, so be sure to bring some sunscreen, lots of water. Uh, you will get hot. You will get de dehydrated uh, being out here in the open uh, air uh, all day. So uh, take care of yourself. Uh, plan for ticks also. And uh, keep an eye out for snakes too. So uh, walking sticks are great. There are so many fallen rocks. Um, that are all coming down from the shelves up there and every time it rains it washes out more rocks fall down and they tumble down and whenever the rocks uh, fall and crash uh, sometimes uh, like a horn coral piece or shell will bust free from the matrix as in the the rock that it's uh, embedded in and so sometimes you can find single points um, just laying around they don't want you climbing up um, so what I've been doing is just walking along the base of these rocks uh, on both this side and on the other side. Um, they don't want it to be a liability for climbing up and then getting any kind of injuries or anything like that. But lots to do, lots to see around here. You can spend all day or just an hour, you'll find all kinds of stuff, but be sure to get your permit first. Check out this rock. Got a cool fossil, horn coral, uh, horn coral, horn coral. That one there, she got horn coral. More horn coral. So, if you're coming back here to uh, do some searching after you get a permit, I'm going to be leaving plenty of stuff here for you. Horn coral, all kinds of fun fossils. Be sure to flip over rocks to see what's on the bottom side. So we got horn coral here, coral there, horn coral here, horn coral there, here, 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 here. There's a busted piece right here, here, over there. Quite a few areas in this rock. So I came up here looking at this because I saw uh, the different horn coral. That's kind of cool. And I saw this, which is neat. I saw this chipped uh, tip of the horn coral. And I started realizing there's several other pieces through here. Lots of shells, and oh, there's a horn coral right there too. Let's flip it over. Uh, looks like we have one here. It's awful dirty down here underneath. Um, oh, there's a nice piece right down here. All kinds of pieces. Put my water bottle right there. Don't worry, I'm not leaving it. It just gets hot, hot out here in the sun. A piece right there. Do you see it? There we go. Just land right there. 
Ooh. Now you'll often find uh, horn coral or other corals um, grouped together. So where you see a rock like this, uh, just look around. Chances are you'll probably find uh, a few more within uh, close uh, proximity. So I'll set that down for now. Um, looking up here to my left, is that attached? No, it's not. There's a piece there. And now she got the oxyton uh, shells. Uh, oh, there we go. That's nice. Set that over there. And there's probably some in some of these rocks over here, too. Um, can't tell. But yeah, usually where you find one, uh, you're going to find a couple more, so just be on the lookout. Right there they are, next to this little tree. If you want them, come and get them. So check out all that horn coral. That piece right there is long. Look at that. Beautiful piece. I definitely give Caesars Creek State Park two big thumbs up for finding fossils. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless.